hello there my crafty friends it is time for a hop to celebrate another subscriber milestone for another friend of mine her name's misty from crafty soup video youtube channel and she has reached not only 2000 which is what our hop is supposed to be celebrating but 3000 subscribers since even asking people to help celebrate 2000 subscribers. So congratulations to you, Misty. I really enjoyed making this layout. Um, thank you for giving us some guidelines and a, f a free cut file to go and create this layout. So I chose a heart background and I'm going to mess it all up. Um, cut file here. And then I shrunk it because I like to do six by eight. So um, this file is set to be larger at about 11 something in order to fit on a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And so be sure to watch Misty's videos and go grab some of those free cut files from her website. I believe she does one every month on a Friday and she posts a video on her channel. So go check that out. There are also some details on her channel about her giveaway that she's doing. So I chose to do, like I said, it's a six by eight. This is from my counterfeit kit challenge kit papers that I've pulled. Um, one is a, this is from Storyteller Wood Grain. This was actually um, from Wenders for the background there. Oh, and then what she suggested doing, which I thought was a great idea. We use the negative space cut out pieces that were in the negative space as a template to cut the pieces to back my cut file, which I think is a great idea because I am not the best at backing cut files. And so, um, for example, I'll probably do this one wrong. No, this one goes up here. So I'm gonna try to do this uh, this way. This is backwards, but we'll see if it works. Hopefully I can get this done I want to. I'm using some scotch glue because my Nuvo glue has frozen. So um, I'm going to put this just around the edges. Okay, so this is the back, obviously. But I, yeah. And it took me a few tries to remember that when you back, when you cut the backing, you have to cut it a little bigger than the piece that you are backing, than the piece you're using as your template. because if you cut it the same size or smaller, it's not gonna work. It's gonna fit exactly in there if you're using that negative space piece as a template. It took me a couple tries, but then I figured it out and I moved on. <laughs> All right, I should have another teeny one. I have this one, put this one here in this corner. This time I'm just gonna try putting it around the edges of this, just barely, probably not supposed to do it this way. We're going to try it. Probably better to put the glue on the piece that you're backing. Just want to make sure that it covers. Oh, see, it doesn't even cover. And well, if it doesn't, then you might just have to live with the fact that it doesn't cover it all the way. I don't think anybody will ever notice. It's gonna be in a page protector anyway. All right, third time's a charm. Let's do this one. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure because I have two of these. That one's that one. Would have been good if I numbered them or something, right? All right.
file to um, include and it was so easy to resize it in my Cricut. All I did was change the dimensions to six by eight and it cut beautifully, it was perfect. So um, if y'all are watching, just go check out that uh, cut file on her site. Check out Misty's um, videos to find out about her giveaway for the top two. Thank you so much. Bye.